Hi everybody, Diane McKendrick from the Oil Sisters and this is vlog number two. There will always be something to do. In my journey as an up and coming author and also running my life coaching and spiritual business from Ipswich, a mum of two little children with a husband who flies in, flies out and works away, I've recently realized how important it is in this journey and to be able to carry out my vision to have a very clear set of boundaries around doing. Particularly in the last week, I've really noticed just how the list continues. I get one thing off the list and about five pop up on back onto the list. So as fast as I can get them done and action and move on to the next thing, the next things are popping up. So who out there, who else out there might feel like that? It's like getting one or two things done is the catalyst for several other things to pop up, right? So I had the weekend totally, wholly and solely with my children. And the thing that was going through my head like constantly was the list of things that I had to do. But it's so important to me that when I'm with the family or when I'm with the kids that I'm present. So as that list kept swirling around in my head, instead of thinking about it and letting myself go there, I just would write it all down. I'd just stop what I was doing, write it down. So I was on the piece of paper, ready to action Monday morning when I got to work, not at home in between making hot cacaos for my children and popping popcorn and starting a fire and doing the gardening, which is what I used to do. I used to try and do it all at once, right? Yes, yeah, so I write it down on a piece of paper and then I come to work on Monday morning and I've got a beautiful list of things I get to do. I don't even call it my to-do list anymore. I write at the top of the page, things I get to do because the reality of it is I get to do these things. I don't have to do them. I choose to do them because it creates momentum and opens up possibilities for my vision and for um, the movement forward and for the growth of all women and all families all around the world. So I really hope that little tidbit can help you today. And that's my experience, that's my journey, that's uh, a learning for me this weekend to set really clear boundaries when you're with the children or with your husband, be totally with them. If the mind's going a million miles an hour, things that, you, that you've got to do when you get to work, put it down on a list and then action it Monday morning or action it when you're in that space and that mode of work. So the other way I like to think of it is like changing a hat. You know, I can be so productive and getting stuff done, done, boom, 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 when I'm at work and then when I go home and the pace changes. I don't know if it necessarily slows down, but it changes. And being with the kids and building Lego and having warm drinks and reading them books is a very different pace and a very different part of my brain I need to access and a part of my heart than when I'm at work. So. Yeah, it's about separating the two, having that awareness, shining the light on it, and then just choosing in the moment to be where you really are. I mean, I'm not always great at it. I still need practice. There's days I come in and out of flow and in and out of alignment, but that's why we're here. That's why I'm doing these vlogs and that's why I'm writing this book, to create awareness, to shine some light and give some tools and techniques and strategies on how we can be the fullest version of ourselves. So that's what I'm going through this week. Um, love to hear what you're going through so you can pop in a comment below and I will see you all again soon with the next part of the journey.